Today we got our first impressions on the newly released Puma Rise Nitro. I like them. Let's go. It ain't no thing to do my thing. It's what I did the best. Yes, I back. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're checking out the newly released Puma Rise Nitro. One of Puma's newer basketball shoes out there. These came out around like the uh, the same time as the TRC Blaze Court that we just uh, just did a review on. So similar price point on these. I want to say these retail for $125. So that puts them around the same, like the Puma Clyde All Pro. That's a lot. A lot of Puma shoes kind of release in that price range. I'm gonna bring you in really. I mean, what do you think about this shoe? It's pretty clean, right? Yeah. I mean, these things are really clean. In these hand. things are tough. I don't know too much about the neon, but overall, I, I mean, know, they don't got a ton of colorways out. It's a newer model. The model I'm bring itself. You in here, like, Look, you got this band that runs over the top, but underneath that is like the actual laces. Look at that. You even got like some mid, it looks like you got some midfoot strap in there. We'll, we'll see how that feels on the core, but I, I like just like, it's a different setup. It's a different setup. You don't really see this too often, so I'm definitely a fan of it. They did, they do some weird stuff with Puma, like the Puma Fusion Nitros, those had a, uh, those had a similar type of weird like lacing setup where you had that band in the midfoot. So, I mean, the, Puma always does some weird stuff like that. It's just a little bit unique how they uh, kind of position their shoes, but I'm a fan. I like to see different stuff like that. Oh man, we just got through this hurricane. The weather feels great out here. It's like 70 degrees. This is beautiful. So you're a fan of the model, huh? You like them? Yeah, I really do. For 125 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty nice I can nice get shoe. down with it. I can get down with it. But I'm gonna bring you up here real quick because you know what we always do. We're gonna give you a little shot of the socks. Chase, what are we rocking with today? Today we are rocking with the palm tree colorway of the shoe wear socks number the 25 guys go go check them out on our website www.shoewear.co where is it it's on the back it's at? on the back heel what's on the back on these ones there it is number nice. yeah hey guys these things are these things are getting closer to selling out people are starting to like them they're clean socks they're on our website go check them out if you want to but i mean as for this shoe like i said 125 these came out at, at the same time as the uh, trc blaze court we just did a review on those like a week or two ago so i'm interested to see kind of how they feel compared to that they dropped in the same exact type of uh kind of like price range plus we got the metal ball twos coming out so puma is definitely starting to roll out some basketball shoes i've kind of been liking how they play on the court puma models have been doing me pretty good let's give it a look all right so before we put some shots up and kind of see how these feel from more of like the performance side of course, thank you guys for stopping by to check out our channel. Feel free to just let me know what you're thinking about the shoe, first of all. The, uh, what do we got? The Rise Nitro? They're releasing so many models. I'm trying to remember the name of them. Let me know what you think about this Rise Nitro model. I think it's a pretty cool shoe. I'm kind of liking them from the jump. Also, let me know anything you guys want to see in our shoe reviews, any videos and stuff like that on our page. Certain shoes you want to see to go head to head. You guys have probably seen what we do. If you haven't, go and check it out. We got a bunch of videos up and stuff like that. We're rolling out like six to eight videos every week. So make sure you guys are just taking time to check out some of those other videos. Now let's see how these feel. The Puma Rise Nitro. Let me tuck this chain in. That always leads to some problems. The hand's feeling better, guys. I can actually shoot the ball a little bit more now. It's such a nice feeling. So as for like the cushioning, not bad. It's not bad. It's not, uh, let's see, let's try and keep it in Puma's line. It's not Puma Clyde All Pro. It's not quite there. I want to say it's a little softer than the Fusion Nitro though. I like the Fusion Nitro. The problem with the Fusion Nitro is that the support on those really struggled. These probably have, it doesn't actually say, uh, say on the shoe. Puma does a lot of like fuel cell, like uh, foam or like Pro Foam Plus or stuff like that. I'm trying to think of some of their different like uh, cushioning setups. That's probably what's in here. I doubt they use something brand new because I think they've been using fuel cell or am I think is that New Balance? I don't know. It's not on the shoe, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'll just tell you how it feels and it feels good. Like, and you got a bunch of holes in here. I'll let you come in here and look at this. Like the whole upper is gonna have like a bunch of like, just really breathable and look at this. Like you can feel this material just stretch. It's kind of like a mesh feel all across the entire shoe. But then you also got this coming up right here to kind of help the support a little bit. Cause I, I don't feel, uh, as far as like the support goes, I don't feel like, I don't feel like my foot's gonna come out of it. That was a huge thing on the Fusion Nitro. Like Puma has put those shoes out there that have such good traction that Puma, that's been a really strong point for Puma, has been the traction. When they put those shoes out there, that it doesn't feel like it can like hold your foot if you're gonna be doing like a step back. But these ones feel like they can do it. These ones feel like they can do it. And that's important. That's important whenever it comes to Puma because something about a Puma basketball shoe is it almost always has amazing traction. I don't know. 
Uh oh, is it sticky? Sticky. These Bring things it. are feeling What's the sticky. Look like? Yeah, let's check it out. What we got down here? What's that looking like to you? Got some real. Got, those are thick. Those are some thick grooves. Yeah, that looks gonna really make durable it great too. for outdoors. Guys, these things always bite the floor. What does that say? P M R T A P. Power tape. That's what it's called. Power tape. Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of new, uh, Puma's newly released. What do you uh, know about Puma? Systems. I looked into them. Don't you worry. looked into them? I looked into them. I haven't looked into them yet, guys. To, to be fully honest, but that's because I do. I, mean, I have a second review where I really go inside and like break these down a little bit more on an actual court compared to like just seeing how they feel initially outside. Right now, I am not gonna lie. That's wet. That's a good jump shot. I, it feels so good to have my right hand back. I'm not gonna lie. These feel. These feel like really good. Like, holy cow. They, I feel like they're gonna be pretty light. They don't feel like a super heavy model. It's gonna be more of a balanced cushioning setup from what I can feel. Definitely a little bit more of a balanced cushioning setup. Dang, it just feels, feels good to be able to use my right hand again. I had to miss one eventually. Not a lot of bad things that I can say about this model right now. Traction, the support is basically the only thing. For, support's basically the only thing I'm worried about. And I'm not really worried about it. Like you got that band on there. And I showed you, whenever I pulled it back, whenever I was lacing them up, the laces feed through some type of strap. I can bring you in here one more time before I end this off. One more time, I'll show you that. Like, look at that. They feel like it's a whole shoe on top of a shoe. This whole band wraps over the top here. I think it gives it a really cool look for the appearance. Kind of serves for that purpose. Puma Rise Nitro. Wow. Man, Chase cut the camera on me after a miss. Bro, that's wrong. And that's going to wrap up our first impressions on the Puma Rise Nitro. Like I was just saying, I'm, 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 I'm sensing some good stuff about this model. Like Puma's been putting out just some beast basketball shoes. The metal ball ones were, were some of like my favorite shoes for performance. Like I think, I mean, it's, it might still be my number one shoe for performance right now. People say like the traction, I don't understand. Like Puma's been putting out some of the stickiest basketball shoes out there. People still say like, oh, the metal ball ones don't play good for me. The Puma Clyde Pros, they don't play good for me. The Fusion Nitros, they play so, so good for me. And I can just tell, like, it seems like it's gonna be the same compound. They switch the pattern up a lot, it never matters. It never matters. Puma basketball shoes, second to none on cushioning, or not on cushioning, on a, just like on grip, always. So, I mean, as long as this upper does a good job, this shoe is gonna be a beast. Like, I cannot, I cannot wait for like the actual review to come out on this thing. So, Landon, is it worth the 125 just on your first impression? Oh, my first impression on this shoe, at 125 bucks, that's like a really, like average price range. This shoe has already got a few things. I'm like, the, the collar feels padded, the cushioning feels good enough, the traction's really nice. I'm gonna say it definitely is gonna be worth 125 bucks, in my opinion. Before the full breakdown, if you wanna see if it actually does reach that, reach that price point as a performance model, I am gonna break this shoe down a little bit further details. That'll come out in like a week or two. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. But that's gonna wrap up our first impressions on the Puma Rise Nitro. Till next time, peace.